Hello everyone, I'm Pujit Buma, and I understand that fear due to a possible upcoming recession is plausible, but it shouldn't stop you guys from investing in golden opportunities. Today, I am pitching CVS Health. CVS Health is a renowned healthcare enterprise that has opened up business in many industries throughout the healthcare sector. Its main business is a pharmacy that you all have probably heard of, and you probably all have visited. And that makes it, unsurprisingly, the largest retail pharmacy chain offering critical medication throughout the U.S. In addition, CVS also owns Aetna, a health insurance company, and CVS Caremark, an online pharmacy benefit manager, along with many other companies, all run by a female CEO, the largest female-run company in the U.S. The healthcare market as a whole has been doing well for itself. In fact, the pharmacy market is expected to grow at 6.3% annually to 2028 in the U.S., which the U.S. has 41% of the market share. Leading the growth will be CVS, the largest pharmacy, with 24.5% of the market share. The pharmacy market, though, is not the only thing that is growing and flourishing. In fact, the health insurance market is expected to grow 9.5% annually until 2028 as well. This is good news for Aetna which ranks sixth place in the U.S. for healthcare. Now for my investment thesis. I propose a buy to hold. The current price is at $77.10, and my target price is $113 in about 12 to 18 months, which is a 47% upside. I propose this thesis because CVS is in healthcare, a critical sector business, which means that it is less likely to collapse in a recession. Further, because health time is also a lifetime necessity. Further, CVS health is diverse in its products, meaning it can survive even if one of the sections fails. Now, CVS is always improving its business. One of its main ways is acquisitions like Aetna or Signify Health, which is a more recent one. And another way is research of new products, for example, COVID vaccines. On top of all of this, it also has a diverse range of suppliers, meaning that it will have inventory and also have access to great prices. You're probably wondering, how is CVS utilizing the technological advanced opportunities available in this world to improve their business? Well, they have integrated automation and artificial intelligence to fill prescriptions remotely. On top of this, this allows pharmacists to concentrate on other tasks like research. Further, they have a tech partnership with Microsoft, and this gives them access to cloud computing and artificial intelligence. In fact, CVS will migrate 1,500 business applications on Azure to provide customized care applications uh, experiences to each and every person when and when, where they want. Competitive analysis. What is CVS's competitive positioning? Well, its major competitors are Walgreens and United Healthcare and Cigna and some others. But once again, CVS Health has a major market share in the pharmacy and the health industry as a whole. Further, through a moat analysis, I have determined that CVS has a wide moat. I get to this because, well, first off, brand value. I'm going to take you back to when I said that most people know CVS and probably have already visited. Well, that's high brand value. A lot of people know it. Further, through a moat analysis, I've also found that it spreads investments out greatly throughout the health sector. Like I said, it owns 8.9. It also owns um, other businesses like Signify Health or Oak Tree Healthcare, which allows it to spread its investments and risk. And Porter's Five Forces actually tell the same story. As shown by the figure, it shows that CVS's overall threat to business is low. Now for a financial analysis. Well, now here's a financial analysis to back up my claims. 2022 revenue was $322.5 which is a 10.4% increase from 2021. 
Although EPS was $3.14, which is still pretty good for 2022, 2023 has shown a major increase with the first quarter being around $2, meaning that uh, it is expected to have $9 EPS in 2023 as a whole year. Further, the intrinsic value model as shown in the figure expresses that CVS is undervalued even when taking a conservative growth rate of 5% because like I said, the whole industry is growing and the pharmacy market is growing by 6.3% and the health insurance market is growing by 9.5, which CVS is part of both of these. So even conservatively, it's still highly undervalued. Further, the DCF model shows a similar story, even though it's not here, it's assumable because of its high revenues, making the target of $113 per share pretty easily achievable. Through a more technical analysis, stable growth is shown, even though depression, even though it's currently in a trough, uh, like other troughs in the past, this is expected to rebound, as you can see in the figure. After every trough, it rebounds back up. Now, CVS and Walgreens, if you look on the bottom right, you see Walgreens, they both follow a similar trend. In fact, most healthcare companies do. Since the healthcare industry is actually projected to grow as a total, as a whole, going back to the 6.3% and the 9.5%, and CVS being a leading healthcare company, I expect the same for CVS in its stock price. Now, this is revenue. So going back to the fact that CVS made $322.5 billion in 2023, its main drivers are as follows. Integration into other businesses in order to offer diversified services throughout the healthcare sector. Acquisitions, like the 2018 acquisition of Aetna, resulting in the large jump in 2018 as shown in the figure. And its pharmacy is also majorly successful with 67% of all revenue. And due to this, its asset turnover rate, as shown in the bottom right, uh, is highly increasing, even though it's getting acquisitions. It's the amount that it's making off of its assets is always increasing. This means that its revenue is always increasing. Finally, this is one of the major things that most people will look over, but the U.S. population is aging, meaning that more people are going to need health care which means that CVS is becoming more and more practical. Now, everything comes with its risks. CVS's are political pressure from the government because laws regarding healthcare are really unpredictable. They can be good, but they can also be bad, which is why it's a risk. And further, because of the acquisitions they've put, they've put on high debt. This increases their debt ratios, which can sometimes scare investors away. Finally, their ability to sell. Um, ability to succeed in new investments are always a risk because CVS is always uh, acquiring new companies. They're always putting themselves in new markets where companies, other companies are already uh, highly valued. But I always say if there is no risk taken, then there cannot be success. Now, management and governance. Karen S. Lynch has been the CEO since February of 2021. She is was the past president of Aetna and also the vice president of CVS. She has set bold goals for CVS' future, not only for profits, but also to help the environmental and social aspects of human life. Further, majority of shareholders are institutionalized, almost 80% actually, and the main ones are Vanguard and BlackRock Fund, which have Vanguard has 9% and BlackRock has about 5%. Further, independence. Board consists of 16 mem members and 14 of them are independent. And the two out of the two that are not independent, um, one of them is Karen S. Lynch. So really there's only one. So this means that there's really no red flags about shady transactions or poor allocation of capital. Finally, ESG considerations. CVS is ranked very high for E. ESG. As you can see, it's in the 96th percentile, and that's because of all that it's done. Some of these key examples that I'm going to point out is it's invested more than $1 billion in order to build healthier communities, and it's wanting to reduce its in environmental impact by 50% by 2030, and even trying to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. Now, 
How is it dealing with rising energy costs? Well, it's going into renewable energy and it's investing in them. One of them is Mammoth Solar Facility. This allows CVS to create its own renewable energy and save. Thank you, and I hope you invest in CVS.